So here's some disadvantages to consider. Adult children and grandchildren would never be permitted to live with you for an extended period of time if you own a home in a community like this. Some people like to live among different age groups and feel younger by associating with professionals and people in their 30s and 40s or even living near a college or in a university town. Adults in their 50s and 60s may not want to live in a community of people that are in their 70s and their 80s and vice versa, which is exactly what you're going to have in an active adult type community. HOA fees tend to be pretty high and they only go up and all of your neighbors must pay for the pools and amenities and the clubhouse and all of those other things, no matter how little or how much you might use them. Just like an HOA in a residential neighborhood, an HOA in an active adult community has rules and you have to follow them. And as you know, these rules can be a bit of a pain in the butt personally, but they're generally good for protecting your property's value and the overall look and feel of the neighborhood. One way to see if a community like this might be a good fit for you is to go golf or go grab lunch in one of the restaurants in one of these communities and ask some of the residents what they think of it. Do they like it? Do they not like it? And this can shed some light on it to help you with your decision.